रे तो बात नहीं कई छानी रे पालवानो छेड़ो जालो पकड़ नहीं चुनावी Located in a densely populated area of Ahmedabad called Asarwa, right adjacent to the Asarwa tank is the Mata Bhavani Vav and Temple. With the Bai Harini Vav at about 200 meters from this one and a few other less known vavs, the region used to be a popular stopover for the traders going to and fro the city of Ahmedabad. Mata Bhavani Stepwell was built in the 11th century during the Solanki dynasty which ruled over Gujarat between 940 CE and 1244 CE. It is one of the earliest existing examples of stepwells in India. Unlike other stepwells of Gujarat, a Jhalara style flight of steps which go down sideways and seen immensely in Rajasthan leads to the water below. a sequence of multi-storied open pavilions positioned along the east-west axis not as intricate as the other more famous stepwells but the elaborate ornamentation of the columns brackets and beams are a prime example of how stepwells were used as a form of art during that era wells or underground sources of water access through a flight of steps are called step wells they are most commonly found in western india especially gujarat where over 120 such wells are reported commonly known as the vav the origin of the step well may be traced to reservoirs of the cities of the indus valley civilization Incongruous materials like tiles, fixtures and small humanly idols are seen in the lowest and last pavilion of the well. Visitors are allowed only till this point. Only the priest who is also called the purohit is allowed to enter the garbagriha to carry out the proceedings. Garbagriha is the innermost sanctum of a Hindu temple where resides the idol or icon of the primary deity of the temple. Followers from all over the country have been visiting this step well for over centuries as per local residents. Smaller idols and temples have found their way inside the step well over time. Believers come here with their wishes and offer them to the goddess by tying a red piece of cloth on the railings and roofs of the step well. At the bottom the walkway ends in a square tank which is a feature unique to this vav the tank is surrounded by vegetation the result of water seeping to these lower levels the mata bhavani vav is a rather simple step well out of all the step wells that exist in gujarat footfall in the temple has gradually decreased over time and generally remains low at present the step well is 46 meters long and 5.1 meters wide at entrance It has 3 stories and 3 pavilions. 
the diameter of the well is 4.8 meters. Located in the lowest gallery is the shrine of Hindu goddess Bhavani from which the step well derived its name. A stocked walkway descends for three levels downwards. The top is crowned by three pavilion towers. The front and top of the pavilion towers are decorated with rich stonework. In some corners, lions have been used as motifs. The Mata Bhavani Vav is not spectacular in any sense of the word nor is it unique in its architectural features. But what makes it stand out is the love the surrounding community has for it. When people walk past the Vav, they pause and make a gesture of respect for the goddess within. Perhaps it is this love and respect that has kept the Vav alive when many other step wells, larger and more grand, have become neglected and ruined. It is a lesson in community engagement that departments entrusted with heritage protection should learn from. Settlements around the Vav are mainly residential and of mixed use. The houses are mainly owned by the ex-workers of the mills that functioned in the area till the 1970s. The men in the area indulge mainly in driving autos and other small-scale economies while the women work from home and take care of the household. However, the step well comes to life every Sunday and on special occasions like Poonam, Chinmashtami and Navaratri which is the biggest festival celebrated by the worshippers of this temple. They decorate the installations kept here with flowers, diyas and vermilion and carries them to their localities as a sign of blessing from the goddess herself. They worship the same and perform garba, a traditional form of dance in Gujarat, around it during these nine days of Navratri. Sri 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 Sri